Hello, and I'm Dave, and this is going to be a short video. Basically, uh, my video on how to make a Minecraft instance and turn it into a server, uh, which is nearly a year old, but it's still very valid. The method is exactly the same. Uh, I quite often get little messages on here saying that they have errors, uh, how do you fix it, etc. And I normally help out and sort it on out. Uh, now, I figure I should really do a video on how to actually fix these issues. So let's have a quick look at the crafts report. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Find one. Oh, there's one. Is it? This guy is trying to load Sky Factory 2.5. That's an author. So, right. Let's have a look at this error log. Now, this crafts report, you'll find it in a folder called crafts. Uh, is it crafts or crafts reports? You'll be able to find it very easily in your Minecraft instance. I'm pretty sure it's called Crash Reports, but it might just be called Crashes. Anyway, what you see here, now bear in mind this is a server error. So we're looking at this. Now we can see no class definition found error. Now this normally points towards a client error. In other words, a mod that's trying to reference client side code. So a mod that should never be on the server. Now, this resource loader the developer name, mod name, loader, you know, and, and that's the internal code of it. Uh, resource loader is a massive culprit of this. Uh, resource loader is included on multiple mods, uh, mod packs, normally uh, to include extra graphics for certain things in the menu and stuff like that. Uh, it's client side only. You don't need it on the server. You can still keep it on the client, and the client side clients will still see all the extra extra stuff and still be able to connect to the server but you need to remove it from the server i would say uh four out of five ever, uh, paste bins that i've been sent to resource loader has been the uh the issue i wish he'd include some code that uh, checked if it was server side and turned it off if it is a lot of mods do that these days anyway so we're looking at this we can see that that's the error we can see the mod name uh let's have a quick look at another one there we go, another face bin. Uh, right, see that one's dead simple. Duplicate mods, and it's telling him exactly which duplicates. So he's got three different versions of Forge micro blocks, three different versions of Forge multi part, and three different versions of MC multi part. Yeah, uh, that that that. Oh, it's the same mod, but it's got three versions of it basically. Uh, you can only have one version of each mod active at any one time. That's a dead simple one. Let's scroll down. Let's look at that one. Alright, so Java language, no such error taught. Now that normally tells me that uh, he's using a developer size mod because it's quite possibly not actually referencing. Uh, do, do, do. It's a harder one to diagnose that one. Go to the multi part. Hmm. Uh, where's code chicken? Chicken chunks. Go chicken core. Right. Yeah, uh, that one's a little harder to diagnose. See, not all of them are straightforward. Just a quick chicken. See, I would say he's using the developer version on a normal version of Minecraft because basically the code gets obfuscated as it goes across so there will be no such field taught because it will be x y z something 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 uh, that one's a harder one to explain so if you've got that you just look at the mod that was mentioned code chicken is part of no man uh, no man's sky <laughs> uh, not enough items even it's been uh, <laughs> I'm still tired okay uh, let's have a look at this one Okay, so no, cl 
no class uh, no class definition found and we can see here it's trying to reference the client so we know immediately that that is um, client size mod on the server and we look down here and we can see that royals mods Roger diamonds guru so, so we know it's the emerald uh, obsidian mod so you don't know the, the mod name basically you're looking for something that looks out of place so uh, Sun that's all to do with Java Google very obvious Minecraft Ford very obvious but when you see this Royals mod you're like oh aha yep and that tells you what mod to look for we'll do one more although I think you should understand it from what I've said uh, if not use the comments and I'll try and clarify it a bit more okay oh this looks like another complicated one uh, no class found how the hell did he not have that class I think this is a Minecraft instance that hasn't been installed correctly. So curiosity, so I've tried to fix every single error I've come across. Uh, oh, so that was a guy with duplicate miss, uh, mods. I never actually got around to fixing that one. I didn't actually see it. Uh, my apologies, Derek Hogan. Although, to be honest, looking at it, I don't actually know the fix. I don't know what you've done. Uh, yeah, that's 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 weird. I just saw a folder name he used for his server. Oops. <laughs> okay, but I see that port forward and everything. Okay, uh, do one more, one more, one more, one more. Again, client side. Uh, yep, client side tile. Uh, let's look for the mod name. So it's MC created mod name. Yeah, if anything's called mod name. Uh, you did, that's not a very well made mod <laughs> MC creator oh that's a mod creator yeah um, any mod that uses software to create itself other than actual programming avoid like the plague uh, I'm sure that people can make very good mods out of it but it's not the right way um, and you will get issues uh, it's better for the developer to maybe use MC Creator or such like software to get a rough idea of what they want to do and then learn how to do it properly. It's not that complicated. If I can do it, pretty much anybody can do it. Uh, okay, so that wraps up this up. That should just teach you roughly what you're looking for and where to look for it. Basically, you're mainly looking at this first line, which tells you the error, and then you're looking what's cause what causes it and you're looking for the mod name. I hope that helps you guys out a lot. Uh, if it does, like, subscribe, and all that jazz, because it, it helps us YouTubers out. It really does. Alright, bye for now.